These sheds were built in 1937. They were the depot for a thing called the Newcastle Cooperative. Brad and Snape needed a small space and he filled it up pretty quickly. Through that, the conversations about what the whole block could be started to happen. People were desperate to actually start their practice in a place that offered that sense of community. It's been great to turn it into a precinct and for people to start recognising such a creative and culturally important precinct that it's become. It's the practising hub of Newcastle. It's like an organism. Everyone's sort of bouncing off each other. When you're with a whole bunch of other people that are equally as creative, you tend to want to do your best. Everyone works together for the good of art. It's a very genuine sense of community and we can just come as we are. There's this kind of way of working here is that you have a yarn first and then you do business. There's always collaborations, there's always ways of sharing and everyone gets pulled up because of it. The Clyde Street Precinct is an ecosystem. The artists and creatives all thrive off each other and, and all grow together. They need that place of showcase for them to be able to present their work to a wider audience. You kind of have this like pretty comprehensive roadmap of like where everyone's going and the different ways they've gotten there. The precinct evolves with you know everyone who moves in brings something a little bit different. And it's a place of making things. There's other people around that you can just you can tap into. Not only is it making, it's also around sustainability. And for a lot of people, that is a perfect marriage. They're such a huge, diverse, broad range of artists and creative practitioners. Any given day, you'll have about 100 people around the precinct. Finding myself in this space was an immediate community network for work, but also for relationships and friendships. To land in a space to meet those people straight away was really, really valuable. Newcastle has an extremely vibrant music scene. And lots of bands means we get to cut lots of records. It's about collaboration across the city, the university, but really importantly, the artists and the community. We've got a really beautiful collection of wide and varied arts here. We need to keep promoting people with those artistic endeavours and hopefully it'll go on for a lot of years. We're about bringing people in and saying, hey, this is what we're doing. Come and visit, be involved and be a part of it.